Archaeologists use GPS in much the same way we do. Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama is an area rich in history. For uh, about 12,000 years, uh, all different Native American groups moved through this area. Archaeologists like Ben Hawksbergen have uncovered a wealth of knowledge for researchers. Studying uh, some of these old technologies like stone tool technology uh, has actually uh, you know, helped people understand, you know, I don't want to get too complicated, but understand the mechanics of, uh, you know, the fracture of brittle substances and things like that. Hawksbergen uses what's new to find what's old. It's GPS that allowed him and others to map all of the installation's archaeological sites. Before GPS, archaeologists needed rulers, scales, and paper. The traditional method was often inaccurate. Uh, we've had sites off as much as 500 meters. Now, after Hawksbergen completes his shovel test, he can pinpoint the artifact's location in his palm. He says it's much easier and more accurate. After Hawksbergen plots the artifact's position on his GPS unit, he downloads the information to a geographical information system. The GIS overlays the map data on top of aerial photography. This gives the Environment Office a snapshot of the installation's cultural sites. They keep an inventory so that they know the sites to avoid in case anyone wants to test weapons or build structures near those history-rich areas. James Williams at Redstone Arsenal, Huntsville, Alabama. For more environmental news, log on to the Army Environmental Command website. The address is aec.army.mil.